Look at that really gorgeous but crooked swatch. Like a lipstick plant. I don't know why I like, felt the need to dance on that. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And I would say this week, I kind of like followed a little bit of a makeup rabbit trail or something because I used one thing that I used last week and it sort of like moved me into and inspired me to wear a very similar makeup look to this pretty much all week. So it was very warm toned, kind of a little bit sunsetty and yeah, but I definitely have some like standout favorites that I love. So yeah, let's jump into it. On my nose this week, I have this polish on. I got this in my BoxyCharm this month. This is Butter London's Yummy Mummy. And it's kind of like a cementy, I don't know, like taupey tan kind of a color, like a taupe tan, kind of right in between. I actually really like this color a lot. I like these kind of like neutral sort of tones um, in polishes. I think they're really pretty. This one was easy to apply, easy to use. Um, I've had to kind of like touch up a few nails and then I have another one chipping here. There's my crooked finger. <laughs> but yeah, it's worn pretty well. You know, I'm always chipping my nails on something, but it does seem like a nice formula. And the rabbit trail that I followed this week is I wore Makeup Peaks Untamed again, but I wore it on my lid this week and it's just the most amazing like orangey gold, just really cool color. So I wore that um, most days. Honestly, I kept grabbing for that. But under it, I wore my Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadow in Uphold Gold. And this is amazing with it. Now this is glittery. I mean, it has pretty much like straight up glitter. I don't notice it like when I just swatch it, but when um, I like blend it in is when I see more of the sparkles. So I'm trying to like blend it out for you. So there it is just like straight applied and there it is kind of blended out. So I don't know if you can see the shimmer there, but I mean, it definitely has like some shimmer. I mean, it is like shimmery, but it's amazing and shimmery. And I feel like it goes so well with Untamed. It just, I don't know, it gives it something to stick to. I mean, it already sticks really well, but then like you just give it something else to stick to and it makes it even more metallic and even more amazing. So love them both individually. Really, really, really love them together. They're gorgeous. And then a little side note, I feel like I just mentioned this in the last couple of weeks because I've been talking about the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows a lot recently because I've just been using them a lot lately. I don't know why, they just kind of lived on my vanity and I've been playing with them a lot. So I feel like I just talked about this shadow. So forgive me if I have, so I'll just briefly touch on it. But I did wear this kind of on the inner part of my lid a lot this week and it's just beautiful and it goes so well with Untamed because it's kind of like a, like a slightly golden champagne color, kind of color. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that really gorgeous but crooked swatch. <laughs> look at it, it's like at an angle. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but hopefully you can still see it well. Let's just maybe like that. Can you see it better like that? <laughs> Such a pretty color. It's just a really gorgeous goldeny champagne. It's amazing. It just gives this metallic sheen. This is beautiful with a bunch of different things. Just this color is just one of those that you can pair it with a lot of different colors just to brighten up the inner corner of your eye. Uh, but I feel like it just especially goes well with Untamed because it kind of like completes that sunsetty, yellowy, golden eye look. Okay, so who else got their BoxyCharm this month and was blown away by this eyeshadow palette that was in there? This is the Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. This is stinking amazing. Like so, so good. Now by itself, it's kind of pricey. It's like $50 by itself. But if you get it in your BoxyCharm box, which is like $21, that's pretty awesome. And then you get a lot of other stuff in there too. So is this just not like the perfect neutral eyeshadow palette? This looks like Makeup Forever to me. Looks like one of their artist palettes completely. And the quality on this is like stinking amazing. Stinking 
amazing. I have worn this all week. I don't even want to put this down. I think it's just such great, impressive quality. The mattes blend like a dream. They're buttery and pigmented and they just are easy to work with. The shimmery shades and metallic shades are like super pigmented, super metallic, awesome quality. Um, and it doesn't have like a funny smell. Like sometimes I feel like um, some of those really like buttery pigmented shadows from certain brands have like a makeup-y smell. This doesn't have that at all. So it doesn't have, I don't even know, you probably know what that scent is that like kind of like that eyeshadow kind of smell. It doesn't have that at all. So I don't know if that even means anything or if that's important, but if eyeshadow smell is important to you, I don't notice a smell in these, <laughs> but just awesome quality. Yeah. Been grabbing for it all week. I am super impressed with this. Never even heard of this brand, but now I'm super intrigued by it because this is really, really great. On my cheeks this week, I wore one of my Chanel blushes. This is the one that Timothy gave me for Valentine's Day this year. This is in Rose Bronze. This is so beautiful. I mean, it's just fancy. It smells fancy. Honestly, if I just smelled this in a perfume, I would not be a fan of it. But it has that like, oh, it smells like a Chanel blush, kind of like nostalgia to it, you know? I mean, I'm really not a big fan of the smell, but it makes me think of Chanel blushes, which feels special, which feels like Valentine's Day, which makes me think of Timothy, and I love my husband. So that was a whole nother rabbit trail right there, but it's a really pretty blush. So it's like a very neutral, kind of um, pinky, like a glowy neutral pink is how I would describe it. Rose bronze, honestly, matches it pretty well. So it is kind of like a rosy, I would say it's more bronzy rose. It's more rose than bronze. I have a scratch on my hand. Chester got to me somehow. So ignore the little scratch right there, but there is the blush. So it's just got this glow to it. It's so pretty. And on the cheeks, I'm not wearing this one today, but on the cheeks, it's just, it's a neutral blush, but it's a neutral blush that has a little something special to it, like a little bit of that pinky glow. So um, so it doesn't necessarily give you that like bronzy sun-kissed look, it gives you that kind of more like sweet, healthy look, if that makes sense, because of that kind of pinky tone to it. So pretty. I love the formula on these. I think they're amazing. They should be because they're stinking expansive, but I don't know, they feel special and the quality is definitely there, just has a high price point. And then the blush that I wore the most this week is this Fiona Styles one. This is the Soft Cheek Veil, and this is in Maiden Lane. First off, I love the packaging on this. I think it is so pretty and like fancy and metallic looking. So it's like purpley metallic and has a dimension to it. It's just beautiful, minus the yucky fingerprints. <laughs> so ignore the fingerprints, but other than that, it's really beautiful. So this is just a gorgeous, like glowy pink color. I do have this on today, but I do have a highlight on as well. So the glow up here is the highlight, but this does have a bit of a glow to it. And it's just this kind of like glowy pink, but it has like a brightness to it too, which is really fun. But just, I mean, just look at it in the packaging and it just, it's just gorgeous in the packaging too. But the actual swatch and the product inside is amazing as well. Now it is, I mean, it's a pretty bright blush, so this is not subtle. This is not Chanel's Rose Bronze. This is not one of those that would probably go with every makeup look, but with these kind of like warm eye looks, I think it's so fun. Even with like a taupey, smoky eye, I think it would be really fun, like a cool kind of contrast. It's just so pretty. I mean, it's pigmented. It has a really nice texture to it where it blends well, but it is pigmented as well. So it's kind of, I would say it's right in between. It's not like the, um, like I think of the cheek pops from Clinique. Those really have to be built up, but those are very like goof proof. And then you have some, I'm trying to think of another example of ones that really just kind of stick. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but those formulas that just really stick right away, 
Um, like maybe the Milani Rose blushes, I feel like those kind of do that, but they kind of stick, but then you blend them out and then they're really pretty. So it's not either extreme like that, it's right in between where you put it there, it does stay, but then it does blend well. So really like the formula of it. Can't get over the pretty packaging though. That's maybe my favorite part. On the lips this week, I have another favorite from my BoxyCharm box this month. This is the Pure Cosmetics Lip Lure Hydrating Lip Lacquer, and this is in the color Mystic. This is such cool packaging. It's like a two-sided deal. Well, not really two-sided. You have the top up here and then you click it up. So the bottom is really just the clicky thing. But it's just weighty and beautiful looking. So fancy packaging once again. And this is, <laughs> I twisted it out too much last time. So there's like a situation still there. So we have enough product that I can show you. But it's this little like, cushiony dealy so don't click out too much like I did or you'll end up with like lipstick hair almost happening <laughs> like a lipstick plant it almost looks like okay so mystic is a really pretty I don't even know like a dark fall kind of color so it's a purpley wine berry color it's really really pretty the applicator is really nice like it feels very like cushiony on the lips but apparently i just keep like going ham on it and i keep getting too much product out so don't click out too much product and you'll be good to go that's what i really actually like about this a lot because normally i'm not the biggest fan of well i still like them but i prefer in a darker color like this i typically prefer more matte um, because I'm afraid that this is gonna like move all over and get on my teeth and stuff. Where with this, I feel like you kind of have the option that you can kind of like apply just a little bit and then kind of blend it out so that you get like a lighter layer of it. So it's not a lot of product on your lips. It's not as likely to move everywhere. So you just kind of have more of like a light application and almost like a stain of it on your lips, you know what I mean? So I like that you have that option or you can build it up and really have more gloss to it. But the gloss really does stick around for a good amount of time. The shine, just that kind of like dimension to it kind of sticks around and then you have some staining on your lips. Really, really nice. So I love the color of this. I think it's a beautiful color for fall. Really, really like the formula of it. It's comfortable on the lips as well. Really like the packaging, just don't end up with, you know, like, I don't know. It looked like a plant, didn't it? Look like little, like, hairs of a plant. Not hairs, leaves of a plant. I don't even know. And the combo that I'm wearing on my lips right now, it's just a really nice, glossy, nude combo. So I like them both individually a lot, but I really like them together as well. So first off is the Rimmel Kate. This is one of the 15 year anniversary lipsticks. This is in 55 My Nude. And it's just a really beautiful, like, I don't know, peachy pink sort of a color. I don't know why I like felt the need to dance on that to tell you like, what is this color? It's a peachy pink. Yeah, peachy pink, um, just a really beautiful shade. I really like the formula on these. They're a nice cream finish, um, really comfortable on the lips. Not super duper long wearing, but just a comfortable cream formula. So there it is. I'm gonna put a gloss over that, so that's why there's two swatch there. <laughs> so, really, really pretty. I mean, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty to look at. I mentioned one of these last week as well. So that is the lipstick, and then the gloss that I'm wearing on top of it is one of the Buxom ones. This is the Full On Lip Polish, and this is in Katie. It's a cute little tiny one, because I got it in probably a holiday set, I would guess. I love the little baby ones, they're so cute. So Katie is kind of a more sheer, sort of peachy gloss. I mean, it's, it's pretty sheer. In the container, it looks like it would have shimmer, but I really don't notice shimmer on my lips. Um, it looks like it would have something, like when I look in the container, but I really don't see it on my lips. So on the end, it's by itself, and then there it is over the lipstick. So yeah, just a really pretty, Glossy nude. And because it's that glossy look, it does kind of make your lips look a little bit fuller, but also this does have like some minty, kind of cooling, plumping situation to it. So just an FYI. If you've ever used um, Burt's Bees Chapstick, it feels pretty much exactly like that, which 
Timothy hates those. Like, <laughs> I was wearing this the other day. He already hates Burt's Bees. Anytime I use that, like if I used to put it on at night, and anytime I would use it, he was like, he accidentally calls it Bur Bird's, what does he call it? Birds and Bees. He's like, is that that Birds and Bees stuff? <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's Burt's Bees, but yes. He hates it because he doesn't like the minty whatever, so I was wearing this the other day and he went to kiss me and I'm like, uh-oh, I'm wearing one of those minty ones. Because he's always like, oh, are you wearing that stuff again? Like, he just, he hates the minty because I guess he feels like it, like, tingles and hurts his lips. So, he doesn't like it. So, apparently, some people don't like the minty sensation on their lips. I don't mind it. I don't think it's uncomfortable. It's just more kind of, like, cooling rather than tingly. So, yeah. And FYI. <laughs> Alright guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans. I will be at the Makeup Show Dallas on Saturday, which I'm really excited about. So if you guys are going to be there, definitely come up and say hi to me. I would love to give you a hug and meet you guys. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!